हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक अगेन सो आज के इस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो में हम देखेंगे टॉप फाइव गवर्नमेंट बायोटेक जॉब्स इन इंडिया सो द टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज डिस्कशन विल बी व्हाट आर द टॉप फाइव गवर्नमेंट जॉब्स दैट आर अवेलेबल इन बायोटेक सेक्टर इन इंडिया द वेरी फर्स्ट ऑप्शन दैट यू कैन सी हियर इज बिकमिंग आर रिसर्चर एंड इफ यू सी अंडर रिसर्चर आई हैव मैंशन थ्री मेजर और डिटेल्स दैट इज अबाउट पोस्ट एंड सैलरी मेजर रिसर्च एरिया एज वेल एज इंस्टीट्यूट एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वेर यू कैन ज्वाइन सो कमिंग टू द पोस्ट एंड सैलरी एंड इफ यू सी अंडर पोस्ट यू हैव एन अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑफ बिकमिंग अ जूनियर रिसर्च फेलो सो जैसे ही आपका सी एस आई नेट क्लियर होता है आफ्टर दैट यू विल बी अपॉइंटेड एज अ जे आर एफ जैसे ही आपका टू ईयर्स का जे आर एफ कंप्लीट होता है यू हैव एन अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑफ बिकमिंग एस आर एफ एंड यू कैन सी फॉर जे आर एफ द सैलरी इज रुपीज थर्टी वन थाउजेंड पर मंथ अलॉन्ग विथ एच आर एफ एंड फॉर एस आर एफ इट इज रुपीज थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड पर मंथ एंड दिस जे आर एफ इज अपग्रेडेड आफ्टर टू ईयर्स सो फर्स्टली यू हैव टू अपॉइंट योर सेल्फ एज जे आर एफ एंड आफ्टर दैट यू विल बी अपग्रेडेड टू एस आर एफ एंड ऑल्सो यू हैव एन अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑफ बिकमिंग अ रिसर्च असिस्टेंट वेर अगेन यू हैव टू सैलरी डिटेल्स Like if you have qualified your CSI NET exam or any kind of uh, you can say ICMR, DBT or any fellowship if you are having, then the fellowship amount will be rupees thirty one thousand per month along with HRA. But if you are a non NET candidate and if you have not qualified CSI NET exam or any fellowship you don't have, then this time the fellowship amount will only be rupees twenty five thousand per month along with HRA. Another opportunity that you have after qualifying, uh, you can say CSI NET or in the researcher line is research associate. So once you complete your PhD, you have an opportunity of becoming research associate, where the annual salary is rupees. 3.5 to 4 lakhs per annum and also if you have completed your phd you can join as a post doctoral fellow where you have a salary details of rupees 6 to 7 lakhs per annum so this is about the post and salary that you have under the researcher domain now what are the major research area where you can work and actually परफॉर्म सम काइंड ऑफ रिसर्च एंड एक्सपेरिमेंट सो यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हैं जो रिसर्च एरिया है दैट इज जेनेटिक इंजीनियर यू कैन वर्क इन द फील्ड ऑफ जेनेटिक इंजीनियरिंग प्लांट जेनेटिक मैनिपुलेशन सो इफ यू हैव एनी इंटरेस्ट इन प्लांट बायो टेक्नोलॉजी सो यू कैन गो फॉर दिस फील्ड द थर्ड इज स्ट्रक्चरल बायोलॉजी एज वेल एज बायो केमिस्ट्री तो अगर आपका कोई भी इंटरेस्ट है बायो केमिस्ट्री में यू कैन गो फॉर दिस माइक्रो बायोलॉजी मोलिकुलर बायोलॉजी स्पेसिफिकली एनिमल माइक्रो इंट्रैक्शन ड्रग डिस्कवरी यू कैन वर्क फॉर लाइक नेचुरल प्रोडक्ट्स यू कैन यू कैन से एक्सट्रैक्ट from plant source immunology if you want to work on infectious diseases cancer biology computational biology means bioinformatics also and the last is genetic and epigenetics gene regulation so these are the major research area where you can actually work as a researcher and perform some kind of novel research now what are the institutes and organization where you can actually join as a researcher so here are the labs the first is csir labs you can join any of the csir labs dbt labs C D S T labs, any I C M R labs, D R D O labs, D A E as well as I C R labs. But if you have any fellowship, then you can appoint here as a researcher. And if you don't have fellowship, still if you are getting an opportunity, then that time your fellowship amount will be only rupees twenty five thousand per month along with H R A. And sometimes there will be a consolidated pay. So it depends on institute or organization where you are about to work. So the second opportunity that you have. that government biotech jobs we are discussing and the second opportunity over here is food safety officer so yes you have an opportunity of becoming a food safety officer and if you see the academic qualification that you need for this is you should be a masters that is msc or mtech degree you should have specifically you can say specifically in the case of food technology or biotechnology or if you have any kind of degree then you can go for this food safety officer along with it you should qualify at least gate exam so if you are having gate exam to yahan pe aapke chances bahut zyada increase ho jate hain another certification is very must it is needed and if you are having this certification to aapke chances ko increase kar deta hai of hiring and that certification is called as fda authorized program now what are the job roles in india and if you see the job roles in india that is present or available for this food safety officer it is food and drug administration you can work as a food technologist you can either work as a food scientist or health inspector now what is the salary profile so this is very important now if you are working as a food safety officer then your salary will be rupees 35000 to 40000 per month and if you are exam qualified if you have qualified any kind of exam like if you have qualified gate if you have qualified 
any board inspector exam then your salary will be rupees 37000 per month so it depends if you have qualified exam then your salary will be higher now coming to the exams available like we have discussed there will be exams so coming to the exams that are available and you can qualify them and after that you can join as a food safety officer now what are the exams available the first is state government civil services you can either go for uh, MPPSC or you can say PPSC so you can go for state government civil services or you can go for central government exams like all India tests such as FSS AI Food Safety and Standard Authority of India exam, FCI that is Food Corporation of India as well as UPSC. So these are the opportunities and exams that you have and still if you want to become a food safety officer then you can go for these exams and if you have GATE you can apply through that portal also. And also we have mentioned job roles, what job roles you have after joining as a food safety officer and also salary profile. Now coming to the third opportunity or you can say biotech job that is in government sector is becoming a lecturer or professor. So everyone knows if you are qualifying CSI in a GRF or LS then you have an opportunity of becoming lecturer or professor. Now what is the minimum qualification that is needed to become a professor? So minimum qualification that is needed is master's degree or technical or you can say B.Tech or M.Tech degree. And also you should have a CSI net LS qualification. Now it is mandatory so if you want to become a lecturer or professor then you should have LS that is lectureship that is CSI net LS and now discussing where to apply for this so if you really have a passion for teaching or becoming a professor then you can apply to universities you can apply to any of the institutes you can apply to college you can apply to organization and start your teaching job so it depends ki if call is uh, you can say advertisement is there or any kind of notification you have seen then only you can apply for a job so any job vacancy has to be there and if it is there you can apply in four domains that is university institute college as well as organization now what about the salary details and if you see the average salary of becoming a lecturer or professor it is it ranges from 2.2 lakhs to 3.8 lakhs per annum so you can see if you want to join as a professor and you can see salary is also good so if you're really want to become a professor then you can go for teaching line the fourth opportunity that you have in the field of biotech and that to government biotech job is geneticist now coming to geneticist now what qualification do you need to become a geneticist that is successful genetic engineer it can be any job in the field of genetics now the qualification that you need is msc genetics you should have uh, qualified or pursued your msc in genetics or if you have a dual degree such as MSc in Molecular Biology and Human Genetics and if you have completed PhD in Genetics or Human Genetics then you have an opportunity or chances of becoming a successful geneticist. Now what is a job profile that are available under this field? You can work as a clinical genetist. You can also work as a regulatory process manager. You can work as a consultant. You can work as a senior scientific officer. You can also work as a data specialist where you have to deal with experimental data where you are going to analyze the result. That means advanced analytics. You can also work as a technical solution manager. Now coming to the job profile that you have if you are joining as a laboratory research geneticist. Now what job profile if you are, if you are specifically joining this field, so you will have an opportunity of becoming a genetic laboratory directors, forensic geneticist as well as academia as well as research geneticist. So it's up to you if you want to become a laboratory research geneticist or if you want to become all these domains that we have discussed under the job profile. Now coming to the salary details. So if you are working in this field, now what would be the salary details? So in India, if you are working, the salary details will be and it ranges from rupees 3.5 to 5 lakh per year. But if you are working abroad in USA, so here I've mentioned specifically that it will be in dollars and you can see here it, it is the range that if you're working as a geneticist, then you will be given this salary. And if you want to work abroad for this field. Now coming to the last opportunity that is microbiologist. And if you see under microbiologist, you have various opportunities and job profiles. Now what are the job profiles that are present under microbiologist domain? The first is you have an opportunity of becoming the research assistant. You can either work as a food industrial or environmental microbiologist. You can also work as a QA technologist. So if you have any interest of working in QA and QC department, then you can go and work as a technologist there. 
है यू कैन ऑल्सो वर्क एज अ बायोमेडिकल साइंटिस्ट बट हियर यू शुड हैव वन कंडीशन यू शुड बी पी एच डी इन माइक्रोबायोलॉजी और एनी रिलेटेड फील्ड यू कैन ऑल्सो वर्क एज अ सी आर ए डेट इज क्लिनिकल रिसर्च एसोसिएट एंड ऑल्सो फार्माकोलॉजिस्ट सो दीज आर द जॉब प्रोफाइल दैट यू एक्चुअली हैव अंडर द माइक्रोबायोलॉजिस्ट डोमेन सो इफ यू हैव क्वालिफाइड सी एस आई नेट एंड इफ यू हैव डन योर एम एस सी माइक्रोबायोलॉजी और एनी रिलेटेड फील्ड देन यू हैव अ चांस ग्रेटर चांस टू वर्क अंडर ऑल दीज फील्ड now coming to the employment area where you can actually get a job so if you see the employment area i have mentioned you can work in any of the pharmaceutical industries if you want you can work in any of the research organization any of the research labs beverage industry chemical industry agriculture department etc means all these sectors they are related to microbiology field so if they have any of the work related to microbiology so you can appoint yourself in all these employment area that we have discussed now the sec third is top recruiters where you can actually apply for a job so you can see i have mentioned some top recruiters or you can say top companies where you can apply as a microbiologist so the first is mascot international this is in india the second is siron technology private limited the third is alpha pharma healthcare india private limited the fourth is crotter healthcare limited and the fifth is lakshmi life sciences limited so if you really want to work as a microbiologist and you if you have that degree then you can work and apply for all these field in this company so you can actually apply for this and you will get a job now coming to the salary prospects and if you see the salary of working as a microbiologist is rupees 2 to 3 lakhs per annum so this is about the microbiologist that we have discussed and we have now completed our you can say the topic that is top 5 government biotech jobs in india where we have discussed the opportunity of becoming a researcher we have discussed opportunity of becoming a food safety officer third is lecturer professor you can also go for a teaching line fourth is geneticist and the fifth is microbiologist so i hope the information was or you can say clear to all of you and the video was really beneficial and helpful and if you find the video was beneficial do hit like the video subscribe to our channel that is biotechnica meet you back again in another video till then take care bye bye keep learning